Hey, second grade, it's so good to see you again. Today is gonna be so much fun. Yesterday, you started seeing a pattern of some things that we noticed with our different units of measure. And today we're gonna to keep pushing on this and keep practicing and seeing what we notice. And we're gonna to try to come up with something called a generalization. Can you all say generalization? I know it seems really big and bad, but I will tell you that it's something that mathematicians do when they start to notice something over and over and over again. And they think, hmm, I think that might always be true. Mm -hmm. And I think you guys are gonna do a fantastic job of finding it today. What do you think? Let's take a look at our learning target and see what's in store for us. I can measure the length of an object using different units. Now, some of my second graders were giving me all these fantastic ideas of things we can use to measure. Before we do that though, let's take and pick apart our learning target. Remember when we're measuring something, we're asking ourselves, how big is it? How much is it? But specifically, our learning today is about the length of something. That means how long is it? We don't wanna know how big it is. We wanna know how long it is. We don't wanna know how much it weighs. We wanna know how long it is. And we're gonna measure that object, not just one time. No, 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 no. We're gonna measure it more than one time, maybe even three times with different units, just like yesterday. So yesterday we had our pencil and we had our crayon and we were measuring it using some different tools. We were using it measure using our our inch tiles to measure it. We were using our cubes to measure it. And we were even using some of my favorite jumbo paper clips to measure it. Mhm. Mm and I told you all that you might be finding things around your house that you were using to measure as well, and that's great. You're actually going to have a chance that what I'm gonna put on our board is something that you have hopefully in front of you and it looks a little bit like this, where you pick an object and then it's gonna tell you, guess what guys, we're gonna measure it in cubes and we're gonna measure it in paper clips, but then you get to pick your third unit of measure. Now, it might be shorter than a cube or a paper clip, it might be longer than a cube or a paper clip but you're gonna be taking notes about how long it is, and we're gonna share that work today. So, we have chosen six objects that we're gonna measure that a lot of our friends have started. If you have these objects and you wanna measure them with us at home, you're more than welcome to. If you have some different things you wanna measure, you could do that too. The most important thing for us to do is to be looking at the units of measurement what we notice about our results. So, one of the first things we're gonna use is a book. Mm, like a book that you just love to read. Let me show you the book that we're gonna use in my space. One of my favorites, a little book. So, my first little activity, I'm gonna write book. Now, you can draw a picture, you do not have to but that's my book that I'm going to measure. I'm also gonna measure one of my markers. I love to measure my markers. Marker. How many of you have a marker at home? A lot of love a good marker. My picture isn't the best, okay? Something else we're gonna measure? How many of you have one of these at home? A cup. It might be the same size as my cup, it might not be. That's okay. If you have a cup at home, you can measure a cup. We're trying to find some things that you already have that are easy to grab, okay? Now I know, I stole this from my little girl, but I know that you have a second grade workbook. Now, how is that different than this book? Pretty obvious, isn't it, my friends? Yes, my workbook is much bigger. Workbook. Nice and big, okay? 
All right. What is one of the things we can measure? Anybody else have a paintbrush at home? Oh, you gotta love a good paintbrush. Again, it might not be the same as mine. That's all right. You don't have to have it the same as mine. The idea is just that you are having some things to measure, okay? And the last thing that we're going to measure is just a mm, scissors. Who has a pair of scissors at home? I'm seeing lots of thumbs around here. Scissors. All right. So many fun things to measure. Again, my pictures are not very good. <laughs> but what are we going to do? We are going to measure each of our objects, but we're going to measure them using our rules of measurement. We're not going to measure them once. We're going to measure them three times. Okay? So we're going to measure them once with cubes. Once with paper clips. and once using anything you want. Again, you could actually even use a crayon to help you measure as long as your crayons are the same size and the same length. You could use square tiles to measure. You could use erasers to measure. You could use glue sticks to measure. You could even line up post-it notes to measure. I can show you how to do that today as well. You can use any unit of measure that you want as long as you keep track of it and you line them up starting at the beginning and ending at the end, leaving no gaps, using the same unit, no overlapping, and measure in a straight line. Now, you all are gonna work on your own at home my friends are all gonna work here, and I'm gonna do the same thing. And we are all going to write down on this piece of paper, where did I put it? The information that we're collecting. Now while I'm measuring, I'm gonna be using you all to help me. And I'm gonna be asking you to, asking you to show me how you would measure some of my objects. And I'm gonna jot those notes down on my chart. And then we're gonna look at all of our work, all of my measuring, and all of your measuring. And we're gonna see what patterns we notice about the tools that we measured with, or what we call our units of measure, right? Whatever we're using to measure with. So you guys, we are gonna measure together today. I'm gonna to give us about three minutes to start measuring and jotting some of those things down. You all get measuring and I'm gonna get measuring and we're gonna to come together. Ready? Now you can go ahead and pause me, give yourself that time to measure, and then we can resume me when you're ready. All right, go ahead and start measuring. Mm. Forget to line those up, my friends. If you don't line them up, you won't be able to get a good idea of how long they are.
right, friends, are you ready to come back together? Go ahead and resume me as soon as you're ready. And I'm gonna finish showing you how I'm measuring each of these items. So what I found with my little book is that I had seven cubes, but it took three paper clips and five tiles. My marker was six cubes, which is a hair shorter, only two paper clips and four tiles. Now, my cup gets a little trickier. Again, I have to, or I have to do it in a straight line. So sometimes it helps me to actually set it down. Looks like I've got one too many and line it up straight across. And it's about six cubes. Now I say about, remember guys, because it's not always gonna be exact, but it is about six cubes. Now I can probably guess it's gonna be about two paper clips, but I could be wrong. Ooh, it's actually about two and a half paper clips. It's just a hair longer, because it was about six cubes on my marker. And then my, I can use tiles if I want, but I could also use a different tool if I wanted to. So I'm actually gonna use my erasers. I know that seems silly. I love using erasers because they're easy to measure. Ooh, and you know what? It takes about two of those erasers, two pink pearls. to measure my cup. Now, when I do my pink pearls, I line them up end to end, no spaces, okay? But if you notice, my pink pearls are just a hair longer than my paper clips, okay? How about my workbook? Ooh, I'm gonna do, make sure you're doing the length and I'm gonna line up my cubes. Holy guacamole. How many of you measured your workbook? Lots of you measured that workbook. That's exciting. Workbook's a good thing to measure. It stays still. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 cubes. Holy guacamole. That's a lot of cubes. I wonder how many paper clips it'll take. Paper clips are tricky. End to end. We don't want to overlap them. No spaces. Ooh, friends. That takes a little bit more time and a little bit more effort to line up. But we got it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll stop it for this one. Six paper clips. And you know what I'm going to use to measure? Then the last thing is one of my favorite ones. Post-its. So I'm going to, and I'll show you guys, I'm going to start lining up my post-its. Now, when I put my second one on, I want you to pay close attention to how I line it up. Same way I do my other things. I did not leave any space, but I also did not overlap. Now my paper clips, or my post-its are pretty long. So it's gonna be one, two, three and a half. About three and a half post-its. See what a fun way you can what, what fun way you can measure that. I'm gonna wait on these because I want you to look carefully at what we notice. What should it take the most of? Which unit took the most? the cubes. Seven cubes was more than three or five. It was more than two or four, more than two and a half and two, and more than six and three and a half. Look at that, 14, six, that's a good number, right? So it took the most cubes. I'm gonna write that little note down here, okay? It took the most cubes. Can you guys see that okay? Most cubes, okay? And the cubes are also, if we go back to our work from yesterday, our cubes 
were the smallest unit, right? They were smaller than our paper clips. They were smaller than our tiles. They're smaller than our erasers and they're smaller than my post-its. So they're smaller than all of our other units. Now my paper clips, three, 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 or sorry, three was more than, three is less than five, three is less than four, or two is less than four. My pink pearl was bigger than my erase, or my paper clips, so it was a little bit bigger. So it was a little, it took, it was a little bit more, the paper clips, and this was more of these. So let's put a little note. Smallest, smallest, smallest. This is the smallest unit, right? Now I'm gonna use a different color because this was the, which one was the bigger one out of these two? The paper clips. So this was the biggest. Biggest for the paper clips here. This was the biggest in this case because remember, my pink pearl was bigger than my little paper clip, my big paper clip, right? And my post it was much bigger. What do you notice about that? The smallest needed the most. What about the biggest? What about the biggest unit? Two was less than two and a half. Three and a half was less than six. Two was less than four. Three was less than five. So our biggest one, it didn't need, did it need more or less. Yeah, it needed not the most cube, not the most, not cubes, but units, okay? It needed the least units, right? We needed fewer, we needed fewer paper clips than tiles. We needed fewer pink pearls than paper clips. We needed to use fewer post-its than paper clips. So I wonder if that's always true. The bigger the unit, right? The bigger the unit, the fewer amount you need, the least amount you need. You need fewer of the biggest thing than you do of the smallest. Hmm. So let's put a little note to ourselves. And tomorrow, today in your work, tomorrow in your work, and as you continue measuring, can, do we think that our work from yesterday the smaller the unit, the more you need. The bigger the unit, what do you think, friends? The, the bigger the unit, the fewer you need. We really want to take that away, friends. We want to figure out, hmm, am I going to need more of those big, those big units or less of those big units? And why do we need fewer of these than we do of these? Yeah, it takes up a lot. These take up a lot less room. We need almost four cubes to take up one post-it note, don't we? So it takes a lot more of these to fill up this space. This is much longer. We don't need as many. Friends, today and every day as you're measuring, be mindful of the unit you're using. Be mindful of the rules of measurement that you're following and continue to make connections and look for patterns as you're measuring to help you grow as a mathematician. Fantastic work this week, friends. 
I will see you soon.